All right, just a quickie update on what we've been up to. This is a 68 Mustang Coupe that we've owned for many, many years. About while we were in the military, it was at my dad's place in Oregon. Has an Explorer 8.8 .8 solid axle, not the trash IRS. Um, it's got disc brakes, 373s, limited slip. It's got brand new front brakes. The 302s over there, sitting next to the Buick. Um, so yeah, we dragged this out a couple months ago, finally. And we're ready to hopefully this year, as the weather warms up, well, it doesn't matter about the weather actually. It's more about workload, but um, get some progress on this thing. It's 302, oh, and it's got a five speed out of a 2004 Mustang. Just a real cheap, practical Mustang build, nothing crazy. There's our little dog, Layla. She's a Staffordshire, so that's she's not a puppy. That's literally how big she's going to be. Layla. Hi, girl. Anyways. Um, oh, there's this little gem. It's a, nothing fancy. It was 500 bucks, you know, plus tires, and then plus new transfer case. Well, new. Stole it out of my Bronco 2 project. But I bought this for parts for the Bronco 2. It's got the 4 liter. It's got the 5-speed. Uh, this is why I bought it. Because it's got the most desired transmission for a Bronco 2 build. And then I just... It's rust-free. It's an Arizona truck. Got a good title. So I was like, well, it's got the better differential. It's got the better... Well, it's got the same front end as my 90 Bronco too, but everything's better, which is why I bought it for parts. So why not just drive it for now until we figure out what's going on with the with everything else. So I swapped in a bench seat out of a Ranger and now it's a six seater. It's got three seat belts in the back and uh, three seat belts in the front. And unlike the Buick, it gets 18 miles a gallon and it has four by four. So I'm probably gonna build some sort of safari rack for the roof or whatever, I don't know. There's the Buick. We were at a car show yesterday. It was raining and cold, but the kids enjoyed it. I didn't enter the Buick because, wow. What's what's fun unless you can share your hobby, right? We entered the kids' go-karts and I don't know if we won or not. We ended up leaving, but we had some great pizza and the kids had a lot of fun hanging out. Um, there's the trailer for the go-kart. There's the wheelie wagon. So, yeah, there's that. There's the, the parts wagon, which also has a title, but we ain't been to nothing. A lot of you guys asked about the Firebird, and here it is. It is being... That's the hood off the Mustang, by the way. Oh, there's a the neighbor's cat. What's up, buddy? Chasing snakes. He's a super cool cat. Um... Yeah, so as you can see, the soft dirt's not very safe. So we've been doing something about that. I'll show you in a minute. There's cracks in the subframe. Not entirely sure yet, but we'll either restore it back to semi-factory with the Corvette brakes and stuff, or we'll uh, lay let, leave her alone or leave him alone. The cat's really old. Anyways, or we'll use 2020 Camaro suspension parts i'm kind of good at figuring that kind of stuff out so we'll we might you might see something in the future here's the dotson oh yeah here's the seats out of the uh the explorer but they're two seats they're nice so i might wind up putting them in the dotson or something um it's got a transfer case dotson dash tons of parts more parts we're trying to use pallets to keep parts off the ground so, but yeah, so this thing, I may LS swap it in the future just so I can do LS based events, you know, LS fest and that kind of stuff. Uh, not that I'm disappointed in the horsepower of the small block Chevy, but it burns oil and it limits to what we can do. Not mechanically, but you know, events. Uh, there's the Tempest. Nothing, nothing new here. 
but this one foot in front of the other we now have a concrete slab that's eight foot by 16 foot we started with an eight by eight and that was enough to do oil changes and whatnot safely um and then we moved and made it an eight by 16 with another eight by eight and then i'll probably add four more feet and then widen it because eight feet's the absolute minimum to do any kind of work and i've already used it i used it to replace the transfer case in that in that explorer um which again is just a cheap desert rig but we'll see i may or may not post things about it it's rare as far as explorers go being that it's a manual but it's not anything special or expensive but yeah you know 500 600 dollars with the rebar and concrete and here we are we got a nice flat place safe place to work so we're pretty thankful chris allowed us to do this there's the bronco i was mentioning so i bought this because we live in the desert and a 4x4 would be kind of handy. And I'm building a, like a safari rack for it. A full-size roof rack to use uh, a tent and whatnot. So other than that, there's a couple spare engines for Broncos and whatnot. Uh, other than that, we've been, I've been in the shop welding. There's that Buick wagon the other one one of chris's 383s we're going to take the wheelchair motor out of this we're going to put it in that jeep luke's excited about that oh yeah some coilovers for the um well they were for my dotson because i was actually planning on putting my dotson back on the road but tomorrow I'll be driving out a couple hundred miles and doing an install of my Super 8 swap on a customer's car. Here's a welded kit. I still got to wire brush it. Um, that's what's left of a $4,500 metal order. I've been steadily welding and shipping. and Other than a couple of rush orders, I've been streamlining the process. So... All of the parts get the same. If it's the same procedure, then I just knock that out. And then, like this, for example, this is a two layer thing to save weight. This is part of the cradle. This is two layers. So I've been doing production style, and then, like, this is part of the suspension. Um, pieces they go there and then I had to add a piece and whatnot so it's been it's been busy welding many hours a day plus grinding and other whatnot this is my little double decker welder it's got wheels in the front because I tilt it and put it in the back of the wagon or a truck or something and then I lift the back and it stays flat I secure these and then I drive and then when I show up I reattach the valves take the cap off and proceed to weld there's a TIG welder at the bottom and there's a cheap MIG here well cheap they're a thousand dollars but yeah it's been busy 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 I'm looking forward to this spring and summer because a lot of people are racing cars we have I have customers with parachutes I have customers that are setting personal best records already um it's it's been pretty exciting when i say this is the strongest diff swap for a dotson i 100 percent mean it this one still needs to be wire brushed but it's been pretty exciting so i've been busy with customer work because well being sick in december was no fun but making steady progress and also making some progress on my own hot rodding adventures. I mean, it may not seem like much, but a concrete pad will get that 302 and that Mustang a lot quicker. So, all right, you guys take it easy and I hope you're having a good Sunday and I'm not stressing out too much about the crazy situations in the world. And much some of us can do, so it is what it is. Have a good one. And uh, remember, no matter how down and out you are, you just put one foot in front of the other. Right, Layla?
All right.